Welcome at the next video on the Arduino used as a DCC servo and function decoder. In the previous video we had a look at a separate piece of software that we could use to initialize the servos. Probably the Arduinos are mounted under the table and you have to be on your knees under the table to tune the servos. Uh, probably you need to do that with two people, one uh, having a look at if everything is okay and one under the table tuning the servo and finding the correct minimum and maximum angles. That software was very simple, you use one grounded wire to, uh, to put it to several inputs and that was meant to change decoder and minimum and maximum and so forth. The end result of that uh, tuning is a list of the minimum and maximum values and then the question is what to do next. Well, that's what we are going to have a look at in this video. First of all, of course, when you uh, are going to work with an Arduino, you need the Arduino software environment, development environment, and I'm going to assume that you already have downloaded and installed that on your computer. Then for working with the uh, DCC decoders, we are using this software from Mina Bay. So let's have a look. We click on the Miner Bay and get into their website and there in the menu we see over here their DCC monitor. And on that page you can go here to the download link and download the zip file that includes the libraries that we need. Also, if we click to the next page, uh, there is a very nice and detailed uh, with nice pictures description of the hardware you need to build to connect your Arduino to the DCC on the rails. Uh, you see here the optocoupler that is in use and it's a very simple circuit and that's all very detailed described over here. So that uh, you need to build as hardware and then you're all set and done. Once you have downloaded the software that ends up somewhere on your computer or uh, in, in the folder where you usually download your stuff. Let me uh, try this zoom, which probably means that now my cursor is not on the position where I expect it to be. This is the zip file that uh, I downloaded and if we would open that we find the folder DCC decoder. And inside that folder are all the files that are needed. What do you need to do? This folder DCC decoder is a folder that you need to simply put uh, uh, into your libraries folder of the Arduino. Well, it depends where, where your library folders reside and normally it is in my documents slash Arduino. That's where you put that DCC decoder library, uh, just the, the complete folder. Then also from downloading the files that, uh, that I created for the DCC decoder and the servo initialization, those files you put in your Arduino folder. Uh, like they are over here, they, you have to put those files in a, in a folder with the same name. Once that is done, we are all set and done to uh, have the same working as I have working over here. What uh, does this initialization software do? Well, I have the copy of it running here. I, it is connected now to the Arduino via USB. And if I go to the tools and then serial monitor, it opens up the serial monitor where I can, uh, where I can see the printout. Oh, le let, let me zoom in again, otherwise the text will be probably much too small. So I'm going to do now exactly as I did in the previous video. I have my little uh, connection wire and I'm going to change the, uh, the servo number right now. As you can see, I switched from servo 0 to servo 1, which is now the current servo. So when I now go to the minimum or maximum servo position, it is servo 1. I am now at this moment tuning the servo 1 minimum and as you can see when I let go then uh, the minimum now is 50 while it was 70 before. Let me now go to servo number 0 uh, and let me go to the maximum 
of server number zero. I am changing that now. So we should see a number larger than 110, which is correct. My server number zero, I just tuned it uh, to the value 127, as you can see on this printout. Well, if you have 10 servos, you need to do this 10 times, uh, but the printout will then be a list of servo numbers 0 through to 9. And all those minimum and maximum values that you hardware tuned, you now need to put into your DCC software. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the software uh, so that we can understand why is this not uh, oh this is strange my my zoom function is still on okay let's have a look at the software this is the initialization software uh, it says go to line 23 to configure some data well let's have a look what we need to do there if we have that software uh, up then we need to fill in uh, how many servos we have in this example I had only two and we could also fill in a number over here the timer for the server movement which is a number in milliseconds if you change that number the servers will run faster or slower uh, I find this speed to be, to be uh, very nice and convenient so I never change it but you can if you like then also we need to change something at uh, line 46 so let's go over there 46 is over here yes it says copy and paste the block of data as many times as you have servos and that is talking about this block of data four lines well i had only two servos so i have that block of data two times once for servo zero and once for servo one and what do I need to fill in here? A start angle, which I always put at 90, which is in the middle. A starting, uh, a minimum angle and a maximum angle. And then the most important, uh, uh, the number of the pin where your servo is attached to. And uh, you do this as many times as you have servos attached. And then you can use this initialization software to tune these minimum and maximum angles and they end up in that uh, printout list that we just saw. So this is how simple this initialization software uh, is actually. You need to configure a, a few data and then you're uh, all set to go. Let's have a look then at the DCC servo decoder. I just found uh, my minimum and maximum angles after having been tuning my, my servos, the hardware and now I need to fill it in in the DCC decoder software yeah, well that uh, is to be filled in at line number 90 let's have a go uh, line number 90 is where we define our DCC servos uh, in uh, our servos in this DCC software and again we have a servo number 0 and a servo number 1 that's because I had only two servos but if you have 3, 4, 5, 7 or, uh, or more you just copy this block as many times as you need it and then you fill in the data per servo the starting angle I still keep on 90 but now this minimum angle and maximum angle those are the numbers that you just found out with your initialization procedure so now type in those numbers over here and all should go well. If you want to or need to, you can invert the rotation. Uh, sometimes it depends on how your servo was mounted. Uh, uh, the junction switches exactly to the wrong direction. Uh, you can invert it over here. But probably you could also invert it on your command station or on your PC software. So uh, it depends if you need to use it over here. Then, uh, the important uh, one is again the pin number where your servo is attached. Uh, that is of course dependent on uh, how you uh, did your wiring. And then there is one addition over here. Uh, that is the function number. You see I have here one, uh, one servo connected to function 0 and another servo connected to function 1. What is that function number? Well, that is the connection with the Minabay DCC software. 
This is the servo edition. The minor base software was only about function outputs and it had no servos. So to, for the minor base software we go to line 55 to um, uh, configure uh, some data over there. And there is where we define our function outputs. And uh, this is where uh, this also is a block of data that you need to copy as many times as you have function outputs. Well, if you have two servos, like in this example, you should have at least two of these function outputs. But you can also have more function outputs because this is a combined servo plus function decoder. So you could have six servos and on top of that still also control eight digital outputs. That means that in that case with six servo and eight outputs you should have this six plus eight times is 14 times. It all depends on what you're going to do with your decoder. Uh, okay, the first line that is the address and this is the DCC address. So on my ECOS this was address number one and the second server was on address number two. Then you can initialize the output to be zero or one at startup. Uh, it depends if you if you want uh, something with that or not. Then the every function also needs an output pin. But for my servos, I always use the same output pin. Suppose that I have six servos, then I always uh, use number 13 for the function output pin, because 13 also has this little red LED on the Arduino board, so that I can also see that the functions are switching. Then uh, you can use an output as a digital output or as an analog output. Uh, just change true into false and it will be analog. Also an output can be a pulsed output which is then in this case called a flasher or it can be a continuous output. If you use it as an analog output over here you can fill in the analog value that you want to send out and if it is a pulsed output then you can fill in here the duration in milliseconds of the pulse. If you couple a servo to this function, then you should not let it pulse because uh, you of course don't want it after one second to go back again. It should stay where it is. So if it is a servo that is connected to this output, then leave this at zero. Again, it, it may be a little bit confusing. Wh what, what do I mean with connecting a servo? Well, this DCC software is always uh, sending out digital or analog function outputs and that is going to a pin number uh, and the, the connection with the servo is made by uh, using that same number over here. So servo 1 in this case is coupled to output 1 and that means that servo 1 is coupled to this output number 1 and that is on DCC address number 2. If that output is activated, the output number 13 will also be activated, that is in this case the, the LED, and the servo will be activated. So there is always a dual action, an output is activated plus the servo is activated. And again, if you have many servos, you can all put them on one output, but still give them different addresses. Alright, so then there's one thing left. We have had uh, the, what we need to fill in for the servos over there, what we need to fill in for the functions over here, and then still we need to do some extra filling in that is over here at line 16. It says again how many servos do you have. In this example it was two. Also it asks how many functions do you have. Well, that is in this case also two, but you might have more but at least you need as many as you have servos and again you can here state this timing variable that lets the servos run faster or slower. Well this is about it, uh, so there is two pieces of uh, software after you have downloaded uh, uh, and put in your library this minor bay uh, uh, files then uh, and you have downloaded my uh, initialization uh, software and the DCC decoder and servo decoder software then you have two pieces of software that you need to configure uh, this video showed what you need to configure 
I hope it, it is clear. If it is not clear, don't hesitate to send uh, a, a question to one of the forums uh, or on my blog or send me an email and there will always be an answer. Uh, thank you for watching and have fun. Bye bye.